Hello, welcome back to the Happy Hut. I'm Neil. Thanks for clicking on this video where today we're answering the question Does a Saramonic SRXM1 microphone work on a GoPro Hero 5 Black, Hero 5 Session, or GoPro Hero 6? And this could be a really quick video because the answer is yes, you, you're listening to it right now. I've got the Saramonic plugged in straight into the mic adapter on my GoPro Hero 5 Black. Hey, just as a uh, aeroplane flies over, that'll give you a sense of the ambient sound. I've got the mic adapter lashed rather inelegantly to my GoPro Hero 5 Black. And you can probably hear, as I walk around, you could probably hear any change in the voice. I've got it pointing forward as you can see. So if I go behind the camera, this is how it sounds. Maybe I need to point it backwards. Let's point it back. Hello, here I am. So I don't know if you can hear that. And then back to the front. So what we'll do in this video, I'll show you what the microphone looks like when it arrives in the box. And then I'm going to give you some comparison between how the GoPro Hero 5 sounds with no microphone in and then sounds with the Saramonic and a Boyer BY-M1 clip-on Lavalier microphone just to give you an idea of the of the different sounds from the three different microphone options. So here are the features and specifications for the Saramonic SR XM1 and this is how it appears in the box when it arrives. Obviously there's the windshield and the microphone itself. This is what comes in the box. Warranty card, silica gel, and then the pieces itself. Just the windshield and the Saramonic SRXM1 itself. And the big thing I wanted to know was, does it turn 90 degrees? And it does. And it turns in both directions. There's a shock mount at the base of the mic so that, I don't know if you can see this, the mic can move independently of the base. And the windshield is a snug fit. Wow, it's a really snug fit. There we go. And that's what it looks like with the windshield on. It's more of a pop shield than a windshield. I'll try my dead kitten on this to see how that fits. But I guess we'll all want to know now how it sounds. I'm now shooting this on my camera phone just to show you that I've put the settings on the GoPro Hero 5 to standard mic and I have plugged the Saramonic into the GoPro mic adapter. I've used this Velcro tape to lash it to my grip handle that's on top of the tripod. That goes into there, so let's hit record. And this is how the Saramonic sounds plugged into the GoPro. I'm going to talk for a little bit about nothing in particular so you get an idea of how the Saramonic sounds plugged into a GoPro Hero 5. Um, I'm under a meter away from the microphone itself. If I step back, this is how it sounds. And as you know, I've set my GoPro Hero 5 to standard mic on the audio preferences. Let me give you an idea now of what the Saramonic sounds like connected to the GoPro mic adapter with the preferences set at standard plus on the camera itself. So this is what the Saramonic SRXM1 sounds like with my camera audio preferences set to standard mic plus. I believe it gives it a little boost um, so I don't know if my sound is distorting, I don't know if the camera is bringing up um, any other noise, any other hiss. Uh, hopefully if you're hearing what I'm hearing I can hear some birds tweeting and rustling in, in the bushes and some very light traffic in the distance. But this is how the Saramonic sounds on Standard Mic Plus. 
what I'm going to do now is to compare the Saramonic with the Boyer BY-M1 clip-on Lavalier microphone. Uh, it will just give you an idea of how the two different types of microphones sound. Just make sure it's clicked on. There, that's on. So what I'm going to do now is swap out the Saramonic for the Boyer BY-M1 clip-on Lavalier microphone. seamless um, this is this is how it sounds with the Boya by m1 I prefer to use a clip-on mic um, I don't know why it to me it just sounds warmer uh, but obviously you then have an umbilical cord tethering you to, to the camera which doesn't help uh, if you've got a camera that's an action camera <laughs> but this is how the GoPro Hero 5 sounds with a Boya BY-M1. Ah, oh, but I've got it on standard mic plus settings. I think from what I've seen, this might be sounding a little warm, maybe a little hot even. And finally, for comparison, this is how the GoPro Hero 5 Black sounds with no microphone plugged in no mic adapter plugged in, just the old, good old onboard built-in microphones and the camera itself is in the regular GoPro Hero frame. So this is how it sounds. Uh, maybe I could compare it, I'll do quick, super quick comparison. So this is it with no microphone plugged in. This is how it sounds with the Boya BY-M1 Lavalier microphone plugged in and finally the Saramonic SR-XM1 goes in. This is what it's like with the Saramonic. So I hope this video has helped. If it has, um, you can let me know by just clicking a thumbs up to let me know that you got to this point in the video. That would really make me happy. Um, also, I'm trying to get us to 1,000 subscribers. I don't think I'm ever going to do it. <laughs> But you can help me get one step closer in chasing that daft, crazy, far away dream uh, just by clicking in subscribe in the bottom right hand corner or in the link in the description. I've also put a link to the Saramonic in the description for a place to buy it so you can see what it looks like there and get all the details from there. But either way, I hope this video has helped you choose whether or not the Saramonic is, is right for you. And either way, good luck on your purchase and thanks again for watching.